Hi, this is Steven Kravis, and this video is about Google Music and the Android market. Uh, this, is, this video is geared towards musicians and labels that administer their own information. Um, so for Google Music, there are two main URLs that you want to remember. One is market.android.com. And the reason this is a good URL to remember is that this is where you will uh, be able to see the public view of how your music is looking. The second one is music.google.com slash artists. And the reason that this is important is that this is where uh, you will administer your songs, uh, uploading them, putting in information, pricing the songs, um, uploading images of your albums, and then uh, publishing to set them for sale. So let's see, you just click get started. And if you're already logged into your Google account and you've already started um, Google Music pages as I have, um, then you'll already see which artists and albums you have in there. Regarding the albums themselves, if you were just starting this fresh, you would click new album. There would be a button that says new album. And you would uh, just click uh, upload and edit music or edit artist info. Um, you probably are going to start out editing your artist info first. For uploading and editing music, uh, you get a view of uh, the albums that you've uploaded so far, the songs, and I just want to point out that initially when you've uploaded songs, the actual file names are going to show right here. So you will see file names such as through the kaleidoscope.wait and you actually need to go in and edit all of that information out here. Um, you edit the information and then at the end you save it. Um, you'll notice you have very pr various uh, pricing options that you can use. Um, there's uh, variations on how many uh, free plays people will get before they choose to buy it. And uh, I like this other uh, option under the retail price of album only. That would be if you had one track that you don't want to have sold by itself. You only want people to get that track only if they buy the whole album. So that's an interesting option right there. Another thing you'll notice is that I can price all the pieces here in this example at 129, but uh, the whole album is a slightly better deal. Uh, you can edit the album information over here with this button. At the end of uploading your images and your music, uh, all you have to do is click Publish Album, and you will get a notification that mentions how it, basically the information will be uh, locked for a short while while it gets approved um, by Google Music. And that does not uh, necessarily take too long. Um, I think they say roughly 24 hours. It, it might be much sooner than that. 